Today we're here at the fiber laser, which is used for mostly for metal engraving, but you can also engrave certain plastics. Like in the past, I've engraved nylons and um, with good results, and you can engrave ABS too. You can get some like white or light gray engravings on those. Now, I had a request to engrave some Kydex pieces. And um, Kydex is uh, something that you should be very careful of when you laser engrave or laser cut. Really, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be laser cut. Or if it is laser cut, it should be cut with a very good exhaust system because it's made of PVC and it will release chlorine gas if cut. Now for the engravings, we're just uh, making a small uh, change on the surface. So the release of like uh, chlorine gas is very minimal and with a proper exhaust system like we have, it's uh, okay. But do not do this at home without a proper exhaust system. So this is our Kydex part. Uh, it's pretty thick Kydex. And uh, all we're doing is putting a logo on here. So this is my first test at engraving a logo on here. And what I encountered is that if I use the same settings as I've used on nylon, I would get this brown uh, copper engraving. And especially like on the, it created an outline. Even if I removed the outline feature, it still made a kind of outline where the laser would start and stop at the ends that was darker than the rest of it, kind of copper color. Um, now, I think this is cool and might be nice if that's the color you're looking for, but the customer didn't want this color. They wanted like a light gray color. And as far as I saw online, I didn't even see any anyone engraving Kydex in a light gray color. All the colors were quite dark and burnt looking. So uh, I thought this was the best that I could do. But then by turning down the power a lot uh, to where it's just low power and doing multiple passes, I was able to achieve this very nice light gray colored engraving. And this is exactly what the customer was looking for. So let's take a look at how I was able to achieve this light gray colored engraving and also the settings for the, the darker uh, engraving. Here's an example of all the kind of test pieces I went through to try to get the light gray engraving. So this was probably the best of like the brown ones a little bit. And uh, this is darker even darker, almost like a copper color. This one's kind of in between. And then when I lower the power and increase the number of passes, that's when I started getting these results here of a nice light gray engraving. This one is darker, it's not as bright because it was just fewer passes. So the more passes you use, the brighter it starts to get. Here's the setup I'm using. It's a Powerline F20 20 watt fiber laser. And I just have a simple uh, blocks to guide the piece into place. And the crosshairs show me where the center of the laser is. Here are the settings for the file. So this is for light gray. And I'll talk about the darker colored later. So this is this is what I've what I've done for light gray. So let's look at the properties. So we have the hatch turned on. And for hatching, I have no outline set. So these are the properties I have set up for Kydex right now. And I have the power set at 20%. This is a 20 watt fiber laser. Frequency is 20,000 Hertz. Speed, 2000 millimeters per second. Pulse width, 10 microseconds. And line width is 0 0.05 millimeters. The settings for the Galvo. Delayed beam settings. And here I have a little script on the side that's going to make 10 passes. Now I've found that anywhere between 10, 15 to 20 passes is probably about ideal. Like 10, 10 passes is a, is a fairly um, light gray and then the more passes you do after that, the lighter, the, the lighter and brighter it gets. So 15 to 20 passes is really probably the ideal point for the brightness. The height is set to 51 millimeters. It's a little bit thinner than the, the part itself. The part measures about 52 millimeters. The issue is that we're engraving right at the edge of this curve where half of, half of the engraving is on a flat and then the other half is kind of dropping off of this curve. So it needs to be, the height needs to be set a little bit lower to compensate for that.
the only difference between this brown copper colored engraving and the light gray engraving is that the power setting was changed from 35% for the brown engraving to 20% for the light gray engraving and multiple passes were added for the light gray engraving anywhere between 10 to 20 passes for the at 35 percent it only needed like maybe one to two passes to do the engraving but it was uh that dark brown color so the, so it was a lot faster for the dark brown color but it was also not what the customer was looking for and it also doesn't look as nice as the light gray engraving